So we are at the bookstore at VMworld 2012 and I picked up a real cool book, VMware vSphere 5.1, The Clustering Deep Dive. And this book is going to show you and tell you everything you got to know about clustering in vSphere 5.1 environments. This book is written by Duncan Epping and Frank Deneman. And in fact, Frank Deneman is standing right next to me. He's one of the authors. And maybe you can tell me something more about the book, Frank. Okay. So like the other books, the vSphere 5 clustering deep dive, it contains HA and DRS. We actually rewritten the whole storage DRS chapter in this one. And we added a new chapter, uh, stretch clusters, for this one. Okay, and what's different, uh, uh, that, that, that's great, that's great, so it's completely updated. Yeah, so it contains the new features of the vSphere 5.1 stack. So overall, HA and DRS wasn't changed that much. They got added new features and we included that in the book. So the time we saved on, uh, instead of rewriting the whole chapter, we, uh, we uh, gave it for, to the storage DRS chapter and the stretch clusters. Okay, great. So I got one question from a fellow blogger called Gabri van Zanten, and he was asking me about the shoot and the mass rule, and he was in the impression that the mass rule uh, could sometimes under stress be stretched, so a virtual machine should run on another host, even though it must run on a sp specific host. Can you uh, give me some details? That would be a nice feature, but doesn't work like that. What happens is a must rule is a mandatory rule and we can never ever violate that rule. What he's talking about is the shoot rule. Now a shoot rule is always applied, uh, except when the utilization is 100% of all hosts. At that point in time, load balancing takes prevalence over affinity rules. And that's the beauty of shoot rules. So in total, shoot rules would always work unless you have a utilization problem. Great, great. So we're talking about DRS uh, affinity uh, right here. Uh, you gave us two books to give away. Yeah. What should people do to get a copy of this awesome book? Well, we're all a fan of VMworld TV, right? And we would like the audience to actually vote for new ideas, uh, cool ideas that you want to see the VMworld TV crew do in Barcelona. So give, me, give us the most coolest idea or the wackiest idea to uh, allow Eric and, uh, and Jeremy uh, uh, to run in Barcelona, basically. Cool, the VM World in Barcelona coming up in October. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Many thanks for the copies. We jump to another video where the other the other author Duncan Epping is uh, uh, talking to a colleague. Can you explain uh, what the role of this book is within the uh, VMware? Yeah, so Ashish uh, that Duncan is interviewing is one of the lead engineers of DRS, and our um, uh, really cool story is. When a new engineer joins the team, he actually gets this book first. He needs to read it first before he is allowed to ask questions to the rest of the engineering team. So this book is internally used as training mater material. Then it must be good. Let's take a look at the video. Hi, I'm here with Ashish. Um, Ashish did a session about uh, DRS yesterday and I'm going to talk to him uh, how his session went. Uh, Ashish, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Ashish Parik. I work with the DRS team as an engineer. Okay, cool. And I heard you did a session about DRS yesterday. How did it go? Uh, the session went well. We had about 900 people show up. We were talking about advanced concepts of DRS, best practices, and a few future directions that the DRS team is planning on. Okay, that sounds really interesting. But one of the things that I'm interested in knowing is actually how you prepared yourself for this session. So we ran several ideas within our team to decide what the outline of the talk should be. We used your books and, and, and Frank's books that we've been... Uh, reading for a few years now. Every time you guys are nice enough to let us have a sneak peek at them. So we looked at them to come up with the outline of the talk. We wrote most of the code so we know what to fill in the details uh, of those sections, uh, how to fill, fill in those, those details. Uh, but we used your, your books and uh, blogs to actually make sure that we were talking about the things that were relevant to our customers and that the right message got across. Okay, no, well thanks. Um, I I'm gonna make sure you get one of our uh, 5.1 books so you can prepare for next year. Oh, thank you. That, that'll help. Thanks. So that was a great video together with Duncan and Ashish. Um, what can we expect from you at the VM World in Barcelona? Are you going to present a session? Yeah, I have two sessions to present. I'm going to do the uh, storage DRS architecting and design uh, session and a best practice around resource pools. Great. Many thanks. Many thanks for the book. And people, send out those tweets and win a copy.